Welcome to another episode of One or More, where I try to make you laugh one, just one, or more times. Let's get started. Recently, the CEO of Pfizer said the vaccine for the Omicron variant will be ready by March. The Biden administration plans to buy enough vaccine for anybody who already hasn't caught Omicron, so the administration says they'll be on the hook for about 50 doses. <laughs> According to the CDC, only one in 10 adults in the U.S. eat enough fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables be like, shh, don't ruin this for us, man. In auto news, Tesla's self-driving program now offers three different modes that mimic drivers' behaviors, like rolling stops, running yellow lights, and how close you follow other drivers. Tesla says they're still working on a fourth mode, road rage. Don't worry, the road rage mode only is available for Teslas with bulletproof windows. In the UK, a supermarket chain is getting rid of the use by date on its milk and encouraging customers to use the sniff test. Looks like everybody there will be drinking expired milk because it's so hard to smell anything wearing a mask. In Washington, President Biden is set to deliver his first State of the Union address on March 1st. When Vice President Kamala Harris heard the news, she was like, oh man, I really gotta go back to DC? Yesterday, New York City got slammed with an Arctic blast, causing wind chills around zero degrees, making it one of New York City's coldest days in years. Yep, still not as cold as the Cuomo Christmas dinner, though. <laughs> I just saw that the Girl Scouts announced a new partnership with DoorDash to allow their drivers to deliver Girl Scout cookies. However, it'd be the first time a DoorDash driver pulls alongside a kid and says, just put the candy in the car. The TSA just released its annual list of weirdest things confiscated, and this year's items included a chainsaw and a burrito filled with meth. Yep. No need to panic, though. The chainsaw and the meth burrito were only from replacement Spirit Airlines pilots. It should be good. Should be good. Former wrestler Hulk Hogan is under a lot of fire for suggesting the COVID vaccine is to blame for the recent deaths of some of our biggest celebrities. However, still no word yet what Hogan thinks of steroids. It was recently reported that Swiss scientists discovered that the two biggest COVID variants merged together to become the Deltacron. When Dr. Fauci heard the news, he was like, my greatest achievement ever. <laughs> A federal judge just ruled that U.S. cheesemakers can still make Gruyere cheese, even if it doesn't come from the Gruyere region of Switzerland. Meanwhile, the judge said everything else must still come from China. And finally, it seems Facebook is the latest company to move their headquarters from sunny California to Texas. So expect Mark Zuckerberg to go from this to this. <laughs> that is the news and jokes for January 12th. If I made you laugh once, then please hit that like button. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.